Thursday. Now, today's a special day, folks. Our man, Mr. Tim Ord, is going to be doing a workshop for you at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, this workshop's only $149, and what it's going to be all about is the uh, ratios that every trader should know. Now, these ratios, folks, okay, no one has them. The, the bottom line is you, if you want to understand the ratios, if you want to get the formulas for the ratios, come on over. You've heard Tim and, and myself, we've been on now about uh, six months, I think. It's fast six months, no doubt about that. Tim's going to be talking about the ratios that we're going to be talking about is the TLT slash VIX, the SPY slash VIX, the SPY slash VIX, uh, the weekly slash VIX, the daily uh, VIX in via v, 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 I, X plus my, uh, over, the, over the VIX, the bull bear ratio, and of course the trend panic levels, okay? Great workshop coming up. We have Tim on now because he's going to need a, a break when he's talking for an hour and a half. Uh, bottom line, come over to our website right now. Don't wait to the very end, folks, okay? Because if you're not in Discord already, it only takes us a few minutes to get you in, but if I get, you know, 10 people calling at the same time at 5 or 4, uh, it's a little bit tougher. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, actually, I got something real interesting. Uh, um, uh, chart number one. Okay, I have uh, it. It's, it's really unusual here. But this is the weekly uh, American Association of Individual Investors bull bear, bear ratio. Okay. And this is a three day, it's a three week average. And normally, when the market uh, anything below point five or point seven five is bullish for the market, and all those uh, red lines across this, that chart there and the yes. pink areas are all times when that ratio was below point seven five. Now, if you look back, it, it pretty much picked every worthwhile, even minor uh, bottoms it picked out over over the, this chart goes back to 2000, so maybe no doubt. Now listen, you know, so almost 24 years of information It's there. huge, it's huge. Folks, if you're in your car and you can't see this, remember this program's archived, and remember that when you sign up for Tim's workshop, bottom line, it's going to be on your page and you go over this over and over again. This is amazing, Tim, man. I mean, you know, right. you might take some heat for four or five days. Maybe this one looked like you took heat from, you know, a couple of weeks. But the bottom line is that, yeah, every single time, man, going back 20 years, that's pretty amazing, man. Yeah, it really is. But look what happened. Uh, this this is updated uh, to yesterday. Yes. It's at 0. 0.55. Again. It rallied, you know, when the market yeah. rallied into the July high, this ratio got up to look like about, you know, two, what, plus two, whatever. Yes. And the market's gone up for a solid week straight up. Every day's been up so far. And this ratio went to uh, 0. 0.55 as of yesterday. How cool is that? Yes. Oh my God! I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of unusual. That tells me when this is kind of an opposite. When everybody's bullish, this ratio goes up, and that's when you can get highs. And when they're bearish, the ratio goes down. That's when you're you hey, bottom form. Hey, exactly. The market's been rallying, like I said, you know, for six days in a row now, or seven actually seven days in a row, and this ratio is down in the buy area. That suggests to me if there is a minor correction. Uh, and at some point there might be, but it tells me that in general this probably rally is going to continue. It's going to continue until we at least get back to neutral level, which is probably up around you know one and a half uh, two. Uh, so this is bodes well, uh, bodes for the bulls here, uh, even on a short term basis, but especially on an mid term basis. So, yes. You know, how high is high on this rally? I don't know, but there's another statistic too. If the market's up seven days in a row. And if today's going to be up, of course, it probably will. Uh, within five days, the market's up 100% of the time. <laughs> so, wow. so even there's a pullback. And, and, and the average rally uh, within the next five days above, if, if the market peaks today, for instance, it'll be higher 100% of the time by 0.7%. I like so, it, man. That's interesting. You know, yeah, this, it's, 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 folks... This 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 divergence, Tim. We both this divergence is dynamite, man. This divergence is, yeah. you know, it's a big deal, folks. Because what happens is that now this would be Tim. This would be showing that there's more fear again in the marketplace, right? I mean, you know. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, it's a sentiment indicator. Right. It's uh, individual investors. So these are what the investors. Yep. Um, uh, are, are saying, and actually, you know, I got my clientele too, and I have a a few of them are pretty good at at picking bottoms because 
they're loaded up with puts and stuff. But anyhow, and they've been listening they, they to you for so long. But sure. I do get right. calls from them when, uh, not calls, but use the emails from them when, especially at the real major lows. You know, they're kind of saying that yeah, you got to be crazy to be long this market type <laughs> thing, and that's usually a good sign for me. So, crazy is so, good, man. <laughs> yeah, crazy is good. The more crazy it, uh, they are, the, the better it is. But so I don't know how you know uh, we could be. It's put some power in in the market. I'll yes. put it that way. So, yes, exactly. Uh, it looks pretty good. Cool. We can flip to tar chart two real quick. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. We got two. Just an update on this chart. This is the uh, Zwag Breath Thrust Indicator. Yes. And in in a nutshell, it's it's advanced NYSE advanced issues over total issues, and you take a ten day average of it. And when you're below point two, it's kind of like a selling climax. And when it's above point six. It's a sign of strength. To get this this indicator triggered, you need to hit below 0.4 first. You know, it can go 0.35, can boy, you know, go 0.25 if it wants to. But once it starts going up, you start counting the number of days, and that 0.4 to 0.6 has to do within 10 day or yeah, within 10 days. Well, we had on this last one, this wag breath stress indicator got triggered on. Uh, March 27th, which is about a week and a half ago, and it completed that trigger on uh, last Friday. It did hit uh, yep. 0.62 on last Friday, so it only took five days for it to go to 0.4 to 0.6. And to me, that's pretty powerful. Sure. Uh, you know, it takes 10 days on average to do it, uh, which is pretty good. This did in five days, I think, adds, you know, strength. It does. And, it absolutely uh, does. Um, so uh, there's another thing about this ZBT. I'll call it a ZBT because it's hard to say. It's nice. like breath stress indicator. But normally when you see one, it's, it's, it's an area of support. Uh, so if you yeah. notice over uh, in the middle of the chart there, we had three uh, ZBTs, and they all came in pretty close to the same price levels. That's right, and the so first couple says, just didn't go. That I know. Forty-one hundred is... level is going to be support. Yeah, so. which is pretty cool. And the fr the third yeah. chart, Tim. Oh, third chart, real quick. Um, oh, this is a bigger trend here. It kind of looks uh, the ZBT is kind of a short-term trend. It gives you a worthwhile pops that may last a month or two, but this is a major uh, the. Uh, it's a NYSE McCall and Oscillator Summation Index. When it gets below minus 700, it's like a selling climax. Yep. And so you have to get below. You have to get everybody to dump on the market. And once they dump on the market, you have two months to rally back to plus 1,000. Nice. We hit below. Uh, we hit below minus 700 on March 27th. We had two months to that. If we get to uh, plus 1,000 on December 27th. That would bode well for 2024. That would predict 2024 is probably going to be an up year. Uh, so when these type of big signals, this is kind of a longer term time frame. This most signals of this type last a year, if not two, three years. And so, folks, if you want to understand, you know, Tim's going to be going through six ratios today. You want to understand those ratios? Come on over, sign up. It's only $149. Tim's going to be doing more workshops so he can bring you into all of these ratios. You can really understand how he looks at the market. Tim, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the workshop at 4 o'clock today. All right, thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.